Hello everyone, this video is going to be kind of a problem solving debug type thing. Every once in a while, Gorm IDE will kind of hiccup and kind of crap itself a little bit. Basically what's happening right now is I have in the background a node server running that is serving a page, and you'll notice here it says welcome to my page, and if I refresh it still loads, but I don't want that to happen. So I've, I'm sitting here, I don't see anything running, my terminal doesn't show anything running, but there is one running because, and I know that because when I go to my page, it still um, is serving a web page. And if I try and run another server, it'll say, hey, you can't do that because that port's already taken. To fix this, we have to find that process and then we have to kill it. The way to do that is you, in Linux is using netstat. So we're going to do sudo netstat and the flags are going to be ltnp. Then we're going to pipe it, and if you're not familiar with that, that is the um, that's the, the vertical line. On most keyboards, it's above the enter key or the return key, and you have to hold shift and hit that. So we're going to pipe that into grep, and grep's going to be hyphen w, and then we're going to add a, a quotation mark, colon, 3000, and the 3000 is just the port number. If you're using a different port, put whatever different port. I do not expect you to understand any of this unless you are a Linux person and already have it. So don't worry about that. That's just what you have to put. And if you hit enter, it'll show you that process. You'll see right now I have a TCP6 process. The PID is 736 and it is node. So to get rid of that, all I have to do is do kill 736. And that's probably going to be different on yours. It's just that's the process ID. So I killed that. And if I go and run this again, you'll see that nothing comes back. And if I go and I try and refresh my page, I'll get the connection refused error. That's just kind of a, a way for you to, to, if this happens to you, this may or may not happen, but if it does, that's how you can find that process, that rogue process that's still running, and how you can kill it. You do sudo netstat um, hyphen ltnp pipe grep with the um, hyphen w argument and then you put in your colon whatever port you're listening on mine was 3000 yours might be something different if you set it up differently and that will list off anything running on that port and then the last thing on there will be um, three sometimes four sometimes even five numbers um, slash node and then those numbers are the process id or the pid for that process and then you just use the kill command kill and then that number if you have any questions please let me know i'll be happy to help Thanks.